What's up, you guys? It's a little bit different angle because I finally got my vent clip. <clears throat> but um, it's Tuesday. I hope uh, you guys in uh, those states are, are voting. I really do. Um, no matter who you vote for. So I'm gonna go a little bit different direction because uh, I, I I I got um, I got kind of uh, uh, aggravated, I guess. Every time I look on the, the Facebook, <clears throat> every message and you see a bunch of trolls and you see a bunch of people doing insane, stupid stuff and whatever. Um, I don't know if I like this thing. Oh, makes me look like I have man boobs. Anyway, anyway um, it's uh, somebody want to know why uh, uh, Easter falls on a different day. Or a different date every Sunday of each year, and I tried to explain to myself. Well, if we think about it, first off, um, biblically, 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 nobody really knows the exact time we started. You know, they're all, all everybody's always arguing about when. Uh, the first day was or for day one day one AD or reverse year AD or you know one BC or whatever and now they're doing this BC crap because they don't want nothing to do with religion okay that's fine whatever whatever also scientists said something like you, you gain like uh, some some you know um, like some so many seconds a week so many minutes a month so therefore you know then we end, eventually every year we, we end up with leap year which is an extra day a year every four years. So break it down how you want to. I'm not a, I'm not really good with anthropology. Um, so, uh, but then they go, well, I, don't, I want cold hard facts. I don't want this fairy tales. Okay, let me, let me explain something to you. First off, I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ. Now, everything I say is going to come from that aspect. I'm sorry. If you don't like it, delete buttons right there. Unfriend. It don't hurt my feelings, man. I'm okay. I'm gonna be alright. Um, I have a problem with people saying, "Well, I don't believe in fairy tales." Well, if you believe in the Big Bang, that's a fairy tale. Let me tell you why. You you're believing what some man decided was okay that we're gonna believe in now because they. But you're believing their hypothesis, hypothesis, their theory. There is not a fact that the Earth. Just bang it, or you believe in evolution, which is still a fairy tale because there's no proof. If we came from monkeys, why are there still monkeys? When did they stop? How come there's no um, evidence or no remains of a uh, half monkey, half man? Something, nothing, there's none. But there's plenty of facts behind the Bible. It's funny how this one book, who they say is a fairy tale, there's facts behind it. And, and I'm not no scholar. I'm not no professional um, person to tell you. I'm not a preacher. I'm none of that. My father's a pastor. That doesn't make me a professional. I know what I believe. Now, look. I believe this. I'm not going to dog nobody who doesn't believe that. That's fine. Do your thing. I hope that you would. But if you don't, that's fine. Check it out. When I gave my sip to the Lord and got baptized and born again, as we call it, born again, I hear God, Jesus speaking to me. In my heart, that small voice, don't do that, don't do that. And it's kept me from being killed. I also know that it's unheard of, really, for somebody who has dealt with that bad of MS when the, every doctor said, Ray, you're not going to live. We're gonna put you in a hospice, or they're telling my ex-wife this. We're gonna put her put her in a hospice so he can live other days fine. That's what they did. I got better, I left, and here I am now. The movie, based on our true story, was miracles from heaven. But hey, you know, science can't explain it. But I'm living a fairy tale. Okay, look, you can argue back and forth if you're a non-believer or not. I don't care. Look, I know what I believe. I don't push. Jesus Christ down your throat. So don't yell at me when I give you an answer 
to something because you know that's where it's going to come from. It's coming, it's coming from me. It's going to come from believing in God. Believing in Jesus Christ. If you don't like it, just shut up. I gave an answer. Nobody else did. I don't see any of your, your science buddies or whatever your... Uh, I almost say athe well, atheist buddies or orthodox say anything. But I said something. And you're not happy with it. Don't get mad when someone doesn't give you the answer you want to hear. I'm not going to cater to somebody's own personal feelings like that. I'm going to give you the, uh, an answer and I'll move on. So I'm eating up my time explaining this crap to people out there, trolls or whoever, you think that you're getting to me. You're not. Because guess what? I'm going to go work out. I'm going to go back to sleep when I go back home. I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to watch the election. I'm After this, I'm not going to think about you at all. So I don't even remember who I put the post up to, but whoever it was. But just saying, look, people, I love Jesus Christ. Everything I say, all my theories, uh, all my things I want to fact check me on, everything is coming from that aspect. So if you don't want real, don't tune in me. Don't. This is real. 100%. All right, I'm gonna keep it 100 if that's what, what Larry Wilmer says. 100, I'm gonna keep it that way all the time. I believe in God, some of that. I don't believe in evolution. I don't believe in, in, in this Big Bang crap. I watch the show, it's funny, but I don't believe in it. I don't believe the way some of these right wing people have hijacked Jesus Christ like he's some enemy. Like he wants people dead, no. No, you can't quote specific scriptures without knowing the context of everything and why and who. Now think about this also, you have five million different pastors. So each pastor is going to explain things a different way. Ask yourself this, what is that pastor? Is he explaining his way or is he explaining the way of the Bible? That's for my people who actually go to church because I actually argue with somebody who said that, why would I vote for a, a, a a a uh, wicked man, Bernie Sanders, because he's not Christian. He's Jewish. Okay, I'm not. I'm here on Earth. What I find wicked is somebody that take care of somebody else. If I saw somebody fall or someone being bullied, I'm gonna go help them. Disabled and all, I'm gonna go. That's not wicked. Caring for somebody, another person, is not wicked. It's what we're told to do. Love thy neighbor. Love thy enemies. We were told to do that. We were commanded to do that. You can put groups of it if you want to. You can put walls up in between what God said and what, what we're supposed to do. You can do that if you want to. I'm not. Jesus told me to love everybody. So that's what I do. Regardless, their choice is their choice. When I stand in front of God, I make a... a, a I, I have to account for all the things that I've done. Not what he did, what I've done. Okay, so get over yourself. You're not going to change my mind on that. I know what the Bible says. I know my heart. All right? So figure it out. 